breaking, Al Franken makes shocking confession about sick past, media hiding it. In his recent memoir, Senator Al Franken reveals that he has been lying to the American people for almost a decade. In Al Franken, giant of the Senate he tells the story of how he built his career on deceit. Specifically, in order to get elected, he lied when he apologized for a sick rape joke he made while working as a writer on Saturday Night Live via New York Times. The title of the memoir refers to how Franken had to repress his inner clown and appear to be a respectable senator, turning himself into a giant phony. Specifically, Franken says he regrets ever apologizing for a horrifically unfunny joke about raping journalist Leslie Stahl. Franken says he only apologized to get elected, he was never truly sorry. I give the pills to Leslie Stahl. Then, when Leslie's passed out, I take her to the closet and rape her. When she passes out, I put her in various positions and take pictures of her," said Franken apparently joking. I am no comedian, but that joke has no punchline. There are no humorous elements to the joke, and it is not clear satire. Instead, Franken appears to be relating his darkest, most criminal fantasies, and that's truly disgusting. Not only was the joke unfunny, but Franken claims he is not sorry for making it. He only apologized because the women of Minnesota refused to elect a potential rapist. In the memoir, Franken expresses regret for ever apologizing. To say I was sorry for writing a joke was to sell out my career to sell out who I'd been my entire life," the senator wrote. However, Al Franken ultimately revealed more about himself than I think he intended. The Democrat made it clear that he thinks rape is funny, he thinks describing his sick fantasies is a joke, and he has no problem selling himself out to get elected. The story is typical for Democrat politicians who rely on lying to get into power. Hillary Clinton claimed it was essential to have a public and private policy position. Democrats know they cannot win telling the truth, so they sell out. President Trump, on the other hand, is genuine. He is a real person first and a politician second. In fact, the number one attack against President Trump is his lack of polish. The American people are sick of being lied to. We are sick of being represented by sellouts and clowns. We just want politicians to listen to us like President Trump does. What do you think of Franken's joke? Please share the story on Facebook and tell us what you think because we want to hear your voice. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe 24 hours channel. Goodbye and see you again.